Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to tell you my September hits and misses. Now September seems like it's just pretty much flown by. It only seems like yesterday that my sister went back to school and it only seemed like a couple of days ago that I took Theo to the Sea Life Centre which was at the beginning of September so it's literally gone super super quick and I can't believe that it's nearly October already and it's almost time for my holiday in Paris. Also if you haven't already noticed I have gone a little bit lighter with my hair. It's sort of like an orange strawberry blonde colour. It is okay. It's not my eventual shade. It's one of the middle shades. So I am sort of liking it. It looks a little bit different with my complexion and also my makeup to my other shade but yeah I'm sort of liking it but I just can't wait to get to my eventual shade because then I'm going to be super super happy and then I can play around with makeup because I know that I'm going to keep it for a very long time as well. So I do have quite a few hits and I have a couple of misses as well. The weird thing is one of the misses I have in this monthly video is a product that I used to like. I tried it out again and I realised that I just really didn't like it so it's a little bit strange for me. I also have some beauty favourites and also some film favourites as well because if you didn't already know I do go to the cinema quite a lot so I do have a couple of films I absolutely love throughout the whole of September. Some of these products I have tried out for August and September so some of these are August and September hits and misses. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my hits and misses and the first things that I'm going to show you are my hits. So the first products I have are foundations and the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte 24 Hour Foundation and I did do a first impression on this I believe it was last year or earlier on in the year and I really loved it and I stopped using it for quite a few months and then I went back to it a couple of days ago and I have to say I love it, I'm wearing it at the moment and it just makes my skin really nice and smooth and it looks really flawless as well, you only need one layer and it just works amazingly and I know that if I'm going to be going out after work I am going to be popping this on because it just looks flawless, it's really affordable as well and I just really like it. I also have another foundation and this has been a favourite of mine for a very long time but the brand has just brought out some new shades and I've managed to find my perfect shade. So this is the EX1 Invisware Liquid Foundation and this is in the shade 4.0 and this is a shade that I use to match myself tan and it matches perfectly and I use this pretty much every single day when I'm at work it just looks so nice and flawless I get loads of compliments on my skin and it stays put for quite a long time as well so I really do like it and it doesn't clog my pores and it doesn't break me out which is really good so this shade is 4.0 and this is pretty much in the middle of F100 and F200 if you did use the foundation before they did only do five shades in the collection and I used to have to mix F100 and F200 together to get my perfect shade but now I've managed to find one that is exactly the same as my skin colour also they have loads of pale shades now and also ones that are in between so when I'm not self tanned I am going to be able to get a foundation that's going to match me so I'm really excited because I do have the shade 1.0 and that pretty much looks exactly the same as my skin colour when I'm not self tanned. I'm so transparent it's unbelievable. Next I have the Maybelline colour tattoo in the shade Eternal Gold and I am in love with this. I've been wearing this pretty much every single day. I am wearing it at the moment and it's just so easy to work with. It's really highly pigmented. You only need a little amount of this. A little goes a very very long way and and just look at the shade that is just absolutely gorgeous it has some shimmer to it also it's metallic and it just goes with every single look so I've been wearing this when I've been going to work and I've just been doing a really simple eye I've also been wearing this on the weekends where I've just experimented with my eye look and it just looks incredible it's super affordable and I can't believe it's taken me so long to try this out because it is just incredible and it's been out for a very long time and if you guys want to get a really nice pigmented eye gel then I definitely recommend this you can use it for eyeliner and also all over the lid so it works really really well Next Next I have a new lipstick from MAC and this is a Fever Glam Ariana Grande 2 and it's what I'm wearing at the moment and it's just a really gorgeous fuchsia pink colour. It's also a matte lipstick so it does stay on for quite a long time and when I first saw this I was like this is gorgeous I have to buy it but I was a little bit worried because I don't really wear bold lips. The only bold lips that I wear is bold orange or bold red and I don't really venture out into other colours and I have to say I really like this. I've been wearing it a lot recently. My sister was a little bit not too sure if she liked it at the beginning and then she was like you know what that looks looks really nice and it really suits you. I'm not sure if it works very well my hair. I feel like it sort of clashes. My sister actually said that it looks a little bit 80s which is a little bit strange but I really do like this. The formula is really good. It stays put for quite a long time as well. The pigmentation is incredible and I just really like it and I love the fact that all the money goes to the MAC A's fund. So if you do buy this lipstick all of it is going to help out other people as well which I think is probably the best thing about this lipstick. And the last makeup product that I have is the NYC bronzer in the shade Sunny and I've been using this a lot recently. I first saw this in a Casey Holmes video. I think she did a makeup tutorial and also a dupes video and it was either a dupe for the Chocolate Soleil bronzer or the Hula bronzer. I'm 
not sure which one, but she actually preferred it to that one. It's super affordable, only cost me about £3, and just look at that shade. It's really pigmented, a little goes a very long way, it blends out like a dream. I also use it for loads of different things as well, so I use it for my contour, I use it to bronze my skin, and also for the transition shade of my eyeshadows. And I've used it for all three today, and as you can see, it just looks really good, and it works really well on my skin tone. So it blends out really well for the contour, also for bronzing, and also for the transition shade. So I'm really, really obsessed with this, and I really do like it, and this is pretty much the only bronzer that's a powder that I have liked. And like I said, it's super affordable, so definitely recommend that you pick this up. I also have a couple of skincare products, and the first one is Renew Skin Lip and Eye Active Lift. And I really like this, I have been using it for about a month now, and every night before I go to bed. And this works amazingly on my lips. My lips were so dry and really horrible, and the next day I woke up, and they were so nice and smooth and soft. And this just works really well, and really immediately as well. I also use this under my eyes, and you guys know that I have super sensitive skin, and this didn't hurt at all, it didn't stink, it literally just felt cool as a cucumber and I really like this I think it works really well and it didn't make my eyes puffy or red or anything like that or itch so I think it was really good now this is a little sample size that I got in a birch box I'm not too sure if I am going to be buying the full size product because I think it's about 35 pounds for the full size but if you do manage to get hold of a sample size then I definitely recommend that you pick it up because it's really good and it's probably one of the best skincare products that I've tried that hasn't irritated my skin so I really do like it and the next skincare product was also a sample that I got from birch box and this is called Elite Moisture rising sorbet and this is also for sensitive skin and it works really really well so I use this every couple of days and I just put it all over my face I don't rub it in or anything like that I use my elf facial massager which is also another favorite of mine this month and I just go ahead and I'll just buff this in by going like this all around the skin it just feels so nice and soft and it just feels like that I'm really stress-free when I use it and it just feels like that it goes into my skin a lot better my skin feels really nice and smooth after using both these together and I just really do enjoy it I'm not sure if I am I'm going to purchase a full size because I do know that it is quite expensive but to be honest if you can get the sample size like I said with the other one I definitely recommend that you pick this up because it is really good and it doesn't break me out and it hasn't given me an irritation or anything like that it is really good for sensitive skin and I highly recommend it I also have two movie favorites and the first one is Bridget Jones's baby I've seen this twice this month and I really love it I really enjoy it and I would be happy to go and see it again at the cinema if another one of my friends wanted to see it because it is that good now I was a little bit wary when I first heard about storyline because I love the first two Bridget Jones and I was like well Hugh Grant's not in this one and it just seems a little bit strange but to be honest I don't miss Hugh Grant in this movie because you have him look dreamy and he is just incredible I just love him and I really love the film it's really nice and sweet and it's really good and to be honest I think it's probably as good as the other two now I do prefer this second one to the first one but I think it's probably as good as the second one I just really like it I really enjoy it and I highly recommend it to all you guys if you haven't seen it and you do like Bridget Jones and the other movie favorite that I have was Sausage party so this was a little bit of a really strange film that I saw so it was really good it was really funny but it was also really cringy and it was one of the strangest films I've ever seen in my life it is just really weird and to be honest while I was watching it I wanted a hot dog which is just really strange but it was a good film it is hilarious so if you do want to see it and you haven't seen it yet I definitely recommend that you see it because it's just strange you just really need to watch it and see how weird it actually is because I literally haven't seen anything like it before. So that's all of my hits for September. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you my misses. Now I do have two misses and the first one is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Now I did used to really like this a couple of years ago. I used to use it all the time. It used to make my lashes super long. And to be honest, I've tried this out again. I did get an irritation on my eye and my eyes just felt really weird. Also, it doesn't lengthen or separate my lashes as well as I remember. Now I've tried loads of different mascaras that are better than this and... I just really didn't like the way that it smudged underneath my eyes. I was using it for about a week at work and it just smudged under my eyes and it wasn't even hard work or anything like that and I don't think I've ever had that with another mascara other than this one and I really just don't like it. I don't think it's worth the money and I definitely recommend that you pick up the Covergirl mascara or you pick up just the Essence mascara for £3. It's so much better and it makes your lashes super long and separated and it doesn't give me an eye irritation and it doesn't make my mascara come down here. And the last miss I had is one that was absolutely disgusting and this is literally one of the worst products I ever tried in my life. And this is the Cow Shed Cow Pat Moisturising Hand Cream and it has essential oils with grapefruit and coriander. Now I did get this in a birch box or a glossy box and I normally like Cow Shed things. I think that they smell really gorgeous and they work really well. 
This literally stinks. This is the worst smelling hand cream in the world. Now, I used this on my hands and I was like, this is disgusting. So I said to my mum, I was like, mum, you really need to try this. It smells really horrible. So she put it on her hand. She was like, maybe it's just the whole fact that it's got grapefruit in it. Maybe it's because it's really nice and it's really healthy. So that's probably why you don't like it. I put this on her hands. She smelled her hands and she was like, that is disgusting. So my mum even thought the same as me. She's one of those people that she needs to try out herself and she makes her own opinion and she had exactly the same opinion as me. Now, I can't really work out what the smell is. It's just really strong, really chemically. It smells a little bit like horses, a little bit like grapefruit, a bit like oatmeal, and it's just vile. It's just really not nice. It does moisturize, so it is quite good for that, but I just can't get past the smell. It's just horrendous. I don't like it. So these are all my hits and misses of September. If there are any products that you like or that you don't like throughout the whole of September, just comment down below. And also if there's any products in this video that you've tried out that you like or that you don't like, just comment as well to let me know about that. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and make sure that you give it a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!